By the end of this video, you'll know how to use Wagestone Real Time from start to finish. Well, that sounds like a good deal. First, you gotta understand what Wagestone Real Time is. It's not a plugin you can put on your voice and it's magically gonna make you sound good. It is a pitch correction plugin that you can use in real time. Let's take a look at Wagestone Real Time. This is what we have. We have speed, we have note transition, we have correction, we have vibrato, we have a slider for vibrato. We can link the speed and the note transition. We have range. We have reference, we have MIDI input keyboard, recording vocals. We don't even have to worry about this section down here. You're gonna spend a lot of time here in the scale department. We have flats, we have sharps, and then we have the keys for the scales that we could choose. And then up here at correction, we can turn it on, we can turn it off, and we have the knob to control how much correction goes to the vocal. And we have format. If we want the format corrected, we choose corrected. If we do not want it corrected, we choose not. I would highly recommend that you keep it corrected. The first thing that we have to really look at is if we're talking with our signal and if we're getting any type of movement on the keyboard. As you see, I'm getting movement on the keyboard and I'm seeing my notes constantly move right here in my face. So that's the beautiful thing about knowing if you can actually pick up the signal. Because if we can pick up the signal, that means we're good. You see over here, I have a Neve 1073 mic pre and it's boosting my signal. So if I turn this off, always check the key and the scale. Double check, triple check, quadruple check the key and the scale. Waze has a key detector. So what we do with the key detector for Waze is we'll play this. We'll play the beat. So it lets me know that it's E minor, okay? And it'll also give me an option for alternative scales, but E minor is the scale we're gonna go with because that was the first one. So we're gonna set E, then we're gonna go to the scale, and we're gonna go to natural minor. E speed and note transition. Make sure you pay real, real close attention here, all right? The further I go to the right, all right? When I go to the right, it's not active. We're getting no pitch correction at all. But pay attention as I go all the way to the left, like 0 0.1, all right? All right, now watch this. The speed as it goes, we hear the tune in my voice. You see what I'm saying? We hear the tune in my voice. It's there. The further I go to the right, on both of these, there's no tune on my voice. The further I go to the left, more tune. Understand, right, no tune. Natural as possible, all right? To the left, a lot of tune. It's active, it's working. We see the notes moving on the keyboard here. It's there, like it's working. And while I bypass this, you gotta pay attention to how this is blacked out right here. So if I do bass, you see it grays out everything above it. But if I hit notes above this lighted up area, these notes up here are not gonna register. Same thing for baritone. If I go lower, those are not gonna register. If I go tenor, any of these from C1 to C2, they're not gonna register. Alto, so like I go for C2 all the way up here, we can be good. And then we go like soprano, anything down here at the bottom, it's not gonna register. So like with me talking, no tune, no matter what I can do, it's grayed out, it's not gonna work. So I would highly recommend that you keep it on generic, all right? Generic, it covers a wide range unless you know exactly what your voice type is and what range you're gonna stay at, I would just leave it alone, all right? And I wouldn't touch the reference at all. And another thing that you need to know, if you don't want the tune to be as hard hitting as more upfront, you all you do is go to correction, dial correction back to where it sounds natural as possible. And you do the same thing with the speed and the note transition. So if you want the tune to sound natural, not as much there, you just make your adjustments with the speed, note transition and correction. Me personally, I use it 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 100. That's my personal settings for every single song, unless I do something different. So if you did everything correctly, you got your key and the scales selected to the beat that you're using, you got the correct speed and the note transition and the correction that you want, this is what it should sound like as long as you perform correctly. 
keyword you have to perform with the tune it's not gonna fix it for you don't know why you be acting like why you be acting like why you be acting like girl i don't know so that's what it sound like when it's good this is what it sound like when it's bad so we put it in the wrong key and shit, right so we're gonna put it in the wrong scales and shit, right play it Baby, I, I don't know why you act like you care me Too many girls in you <laughs> it's like, like it's, It sounds like you're fighting, right? I don't know why you be acting like that Why you be acting like that Girl, I don't know why you be acting like that Why you be acting like that Why you be acting like that you see, like it don't sound good. So if you go down here just doing anything, why you be acting like that? Why you be acting like that? Like that don't sound good. Let's run through the steps one more time. Speed depends on you, but if you want to make sure it's working 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 100, then you make your adjustments accordingly. All right. Key and scale. Those matter so much because a lot of people make the mistake of putting it in chromatic because if it's in chromatic, you'll hear yourself when you're recording, but when you play it back, you're not going to hear it. So if you're hearing it when you're recording and you're not hearing it on the playback, check this. Make sure it's not in chromatic. Most beats are going to be major and natural minor when it comes to ways to real time. All right. And then you want to make sure your range is correct, all right? All right, make sure the range is correct. Speed for it to set and work, all right? So you can set it here. It doesn't have to stay here. Like once you have it active, you can turn it up to what you need. There's no correct settings that's going to work for every single person because everyone sings differently, uses their voice differently. I just know me personally, I start at 0 0.1, 0 0.1. I want my tune 100%, all right, all the time, unless I go in and change it myself. But again, make sure you go through all of the steps to make sure the tune is working because I just showed you from start to finish how it works. I also showed you what it sounds like when it's in the wrong key and scale. So avoid those issues because key detector, you can buy that from Waves. There's free online key checkers, all right? You can also get mixed in key, and you can check the key and the scale and find the BPM, all right? Um, but, but make sure you like, comment, subscribe to the channel. It's your boy, Sky Jordan. I'm out of here, all right? Cool. <laughs>